Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Panzer. Uh, so today we've got her up off her feet and uh, we're in the process of installing some brackets uh, to mount the prototype of the automatic uh, gearbox controller. Uh, this would have been um, the same one that we demonstrated on the bench there all about a year ago now, believe it or not. And um, basically uh, what I've decided to do um, in the interests of proving out uh, whether or not the control strategy that I've adopted is going to work. Uh, I'm going to reinstall that prototype unit back into the car temporarily um, in order to see basically if we can actually drive the car um, with the Arduino based uh, controller just in a very limited fashion initially and assuming that we are success, successful uh, in that endeavor then I'm going to to go ahead and redesign it uh, with a nice PCB in a nice um, enclosure or maybe one of those cinch enclosures or something like that and we will then see about uh, properly documenting that particular project and getting it out there as an, an open source uh, controller uh, for basically probably any type of um, electrically shifted and controlled automatic gearbox. So I'm going to get this bracket installed. Uh, yesterday we got all the cables pulled in, so we got signal and power cables pulled in from underneath the car. I had to make up looms and all that kind of thing. Uh, so let's go ahead, get this bracket in, get the box in, get power to the unit and so on. Uh, we'll be able to see then where we stand. Um, fortunately the vehicle is equipped. The shifter um, is what they call a Tiptronic, I believe. So there's another uh, gate over beside drive that lets you um, have a momentary action uh, shift up, shift down mechanism in there. And I've identified the wires in the car's harness that give us those si signals. So once we, we get it installed and wired up, uh, we'll just start the car up, let it idle, and uh, we'll run through the gears here, just with the, with the wheels off the ground, just using the push buttons. Then we'll work out how to connect into the Tiptronic shifter. Check that that all works out, and if we're really, really lucky, uh, maybe able to take it for a, li a little spin just around locally here uh, to see how the shifting work so that may or may not happen in this particular video but at least we'll be well on the way towards it so stay with folks there's more to come alrighty guys so I got the gearbox controller uh, just installed here and wired up um, I've still got to put some screws in it here. Uh, and I've just got it powered up just with a fuse and a connection to the, the, to the 12 volt systems. And right now we got an oil temperature of about 13.5. Uh, we're in neutral and the drive cell, uh, the, dr the drive commence gear is first gear. So we've still got the two buttons for doing shifting. So I'm going to start up. And uh, we'll have a look and uh, we'll see if we can shift through the various gears here. So let's do it. We're in neutral, yeah. Alright, so we're in neutral gear. Um, oil temperature is stable, 
and there's no oddness going on here with the controller. I'll bring you guys in to have a bit of a closer look at this thing. Uh, let me see here. Not exactly Cecil B as usual with me. So I just got it mounted in there just on a crude bracket uh, just so we can actually wire it up and uh, check that the thing works. So alright, let's try reverse. First, I'll temp 14 degrees. Oh, so we're turning in first gear. I'm going to hop into the car now and see if I can stop the car with the brake. on the test bench before was to put a load onto the gearbox. Let's try to shift up to second. There we go. the brake but then it settles back down again. I'll attempt 16.5. Let's try third gear. Yeah. 
Fifth is a strange shift in this box, if I remember something about it. So that's it folks, uh, what I got to do next is, I've got to rig my shifting wires up to get rid of the push buttons and connect them up to these two little beauties here, uh, which are my Tiptronic um, connections. And I got to get an ignition on power rigged up to that fuse holder there. And uh, yeah, we should be able to take this baby down off the blocks and do some very very tentative uh, driving here so do stay with us <laughs> 